Right, so heading south towards uh, a late boat on the A6. I'm going to be a few minutes late, I think. But meeting up with about nine or ten other people, going for a bit of a ride today. So I'm fully loaded up with more or less uh, every, everything that I need for for my tent adventure, my 800 miles with a camping weekend at either end. Um, more or less, I haven't got I haven't got the cooking gear, and I haven't got quite all the clothes that I would need. Um, but apart from that, I think I've got everything. So I should be getting used to the weight of the bike in off-road mode. Whee! Oh, it's so beautiful. Right, Chatsworth Park. Obviously, this is somewhere that I've flown over many times, so it's nice to see it from the ground. Oh, look at this, wow. Right, so it's somewhere, this valley here obviously is one that I've flown along before, just uh, with my feet almost clipping the top of the fountain that is over there somewhere, and along, along the route of the river. It looks a lot more hilly from down on the floor, I'll tell you that. And we're off. Following everyone else, I can see several others in my mirror. I don't know how many of us there are actually, I probably should have done a count. We're in the back lane. Right, so they were talking about putting heavier weight four coil in, 15 weight instead of two weight apparently. Making it a lot better, so that might be a lot to consider. Maybe a sort of Going off road, but we're not. That's painless. Let's hope it's all painless. Morning!
Okay, I'll take these off so I can have a bit of a chat. Sit on them. <laughs> there. Um, right, I hope you can see me all right. So, how was the day? Well, the day was awesome. Met a bunch of people. I met Chris, I met Steve, I met Robin. Uh, Chris, Steve, Robin, Matt, uh, Mick. Uh, probably missed a couple. Um, bit of a ride. Thought I was getting quite confident with the with the uh, thing of me things, the, the old off-road stuff. Um, certainly on the dry, dusty lanes, I was doing fine where it wasn't rutted and there weren't hills and all that kind of stuff. But when it came to deep ruts, um, they are still a bit of a nemesis. Um, I get really scared and tense. I need to just loosen up and look ahead. But uh, I guess that'll come with time. And probably something similar with the deepish water as well, where I I didn't get any footage of it, unfortunately. But um, but hopefully somebody else did. We'll see. And I'll try and incorporate that into the video. But um, <laughs> I hit some sort of a bump. And because I was in first, I think I hit a bit of a bit of throttle, which was a bit snappy because it's in first. And swept the back end out a bit and jumped across to the other rut. Uh, fortunately, somehow, I don't even know how, managed to stay upright. I don't... Yeah, I probably did put my foot down. I don't know, I got very wet. So I'm guessing I probably did put my foot down. Uh, although, the, uh, the these uh, army boots do pretty well. They kept my foot completely dry, which is good. Uh, but my leg got all wet. Uh, all in all, a good day. There's plenty of learning still to do. Um, getting nervous because I'm only a couple of weeks or so away from, well, obviously the Himalayan Odyssey, but then followed by potentially six days of uh, the Trans-European Trail and trying to navigate as much as that as I can. I've got to do over 100 miles a day and I was pretty tired at the end of, well, I've done probably, probably about 50 miles of on and off road today, possibly less because the time because of what I spent getting there. I'll have a look at the map later. Um, so plenty still to do uh, and to learn. Maybe I'm trying to take on too much.